Hi. Um, why is this need to use history uh, in your song and in general? Why do you think uh, history is very important in uh, metal music? Well, actually, it's pretty easy for us. I mean, look at history. People have been killing each other for centuries, or millennia even. And people have made sacrifices, lost their lives, and people are forgetting about these stories. So why the fuck should we make up new stories when, you know, the ones who actually did a sacrifice are being forgotten? No matter which country they fought for, but uh, I think it's pretty important that we remember what actually is behind us so we can maybe avoid that same shit happening in the future. choose your subjects and what is the process uh, when you write uh, a song? We get a lot of ideas and uh, we have been sent in ideas since 2010 when we did the Coat of Arms albums. We asked the fans to send in ideas. So far we have received well over 10,000 10, ideas and uh, we have enough to write a lot of materials. They are all categorized so we can at a later time pick them up for something that we see fits to an album. When we get enough material for musical ready, we start to plan for what kind of themes we're gonna have on the album and decide upon a topic. And then we dig into the library and there we're gonna find enough stuff that, to write about because, as Joachim said, people have been sadly killing each other for a very long time and there is no shortage of material for us. Can I learn uh, really the, the history when I uh, hear your music? If you can learn history from listening to Sabaton, yes you can. A lot of people have. Over the years we have received so many emails from people, especially working in schools and similar, both from teachers and from students, that both said that our songs have inspired them to either be able to teach their children in a little easier way, more interesting, or as the kids to pass their tests in an easier way. History is not a binary science, there are not full wrong uh, for good, and you have always um, uh, a full point of view in a battle like Shoyama. Yeah, uh, history, as you said, is usually contains of two different sides, and when we write the songs it's sometimes easy, not easy, to not upset some people. We have to pick and choose of a side when we write the songs and we never choose the side of us, it should never represent us, it represents the way we were told the story and that's how we retell it. And as you said there's also a lot of different where to get the facts from and some of them are never facts, they are just ideas. But we try to stay in later warfare, if we stay to the last hundred years for example it's much more well documented. When we went back 300 years in history to write about our own history with the Carolus Rex album, it became way more difficult since at this time not so much is written down. And those things that are written down are written down by the victors and the generals and the kings to make themselves look better, not by the individual soldiers who were on the front of the battle. Sometimes uh, people use history for self uh, kind of political ideology and in your song you are not a political, political engagement. Uh, can you talk uh, a little bit about that? Yeah, well for us it's about telling history from the side and point of view that we find most interesting. Sometimes it's from the violent aggressor's point of view. Sometimes it can be from what people can consider the hero's point of view. And uh, for us, we don't want to do propaganda, no matter if it's politics or religious. Uh, we want to deal with facts uh, only. And uh, of course, we have had, the, when it comes to history, there's always going to be new archaeological finds. So it's actually happened to us that we wrote a song that was everything was correct historically compared to what people knew eight or ten years ago. But now new archaeological finds or new testimony has come to light then it actually turned out that we, we weren't right and nobody was right because nobody knew. So I guess there's always a risk singing about this that, you know, somebody will prove that we were wrong, you know, 15 years from now. But at least we try to use all the data available to be as true to history as possibly, well, as possible, actually, when we write the song. And your song is 
always talking about war, and for you, the story is just war. Can you talk uh, sometime about uh, people' life or something like that? Of course, there's all kind of point of views in history, but we decide to focus on the military part because after war, after all, we play heavy metal, and that's pretty aggressive music genre, and it doesn't really fit with all kind of themes from history. So this one goes hand in hand very well. That's why we chose it. Thank you.